Hey, everybody, we're back here with John Krasinski. John, it's, it's really lovely to have you here. It is genuinely an honor to be your first guest. I have to say that. Well, it's, uh, I'm glad. First live guest, live guest. First live guest, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm glad it's you because you're a friend and I'm comfortable with you. That means a lot. You've never called me a friend in public. <laughs> well, that is the only place I would call you a friend. <laughs> because this is show business, baby. And in private, doesn't give me any juice. It's true. It's All right? true. One of the reasons why I'd like to spend more time with you is I'd like to get to know you better. Because while we talk like this and yeah. we exchange emails every so often, yeah. it's hard to really plumb the depths of somebody and the time we have to talk on There's a show like there. this. It's just not there. So what I like to do and what, what the team of the scientists here at The Late Show have figured out, they've figured out 13 questions that go straight to the heart of someone and allow them to be known in a full way. Oh, wow. Okay. <clears throat> it's called the Colbert Questionnaire. John Krasinski, have you the courage to face it? Let's do it. First question, John Krasinski, what is the best sandwich? Meatball sub. Wow, I just got judged. Is that what it looks like when you're being judged? It is, okay, copy that. You can get a meatball sub anywhere, anytime, and they're delicious. What's the one thing <clears throat> that you should really throw out? One thing that you own that you should really throw out? Oh man, um, according to me or my wife? <laughs> Whoever makes the calls. My wife. Um, there is a Celtic shirt that I had in college. Oh boy. Yep. That has, it's almost like a plastic film <laughs> under here. Uh huh. And for some reason, the washing machine has let me down uh, in the last 376 washes, and it, it just stays plasticky. And she's like, please, you could, shoot it. You could, fr <laughs> you could frame it. It's framing itself. <laughs> What's the scariest animal? Crocodile. Anything that has the term death roll in your... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not only the bite's not bad enough, then no. you got to roll me what into the river. What would you do? What would you do? The crocodile grabs you, is dragging you toward the water. What's your play? I play what would you do all the time. And I genuinely think I would just yell no. No! <laughs> no! No! I would. Go for roll. the eyes. Thumbs for the eyes. Yep. Okay. Apples or oranges? Apples. Right, you can't put peanut butter on an orange. Wait, sorry, is this the first one I've gotten right? What? I want to know if you think this is the first one I got right. The other ones were high judgment. Is, what? Did I? Did well, this this is this is this is you know yes. a binary choice. For it's a binary us, choice. But you have your opinions about things like meatballs. Well, sauce. I know what the right answer is. Not my opinion. I know what the right <laughs> answer is. I, I know what all the answers are, but you answers have been great. Your Thank answers you. have been great. Thank you. Because they they're coming from the heart. Have you ever asked someone for their autograph? Oh, yeah. When I was a little kid, um, my dad was a doctor, and he actually knew the doctor of the Red Sox. And so I got to once go down there and meet my hero at the time was Kirby Puckett from sure. the Minnesota Twins. The interesting thing is that nice. I've asked this to, uh, you know, to your, your, your Hankses, your, your, your Clooney's, and it's baseball players. That's who I get. Really? It's mostly baseball players. Um, what do you think happens when we die? I hope it's great. Whatever it is, you hope it's great. I think there's definitely something waiting for us. Okay. Favorite action movie? Oh, man. The Dark Knight. Not bad. The Dark Knight. Favorite smell? Uh, baby's hair. Mm -hmm. They have a different smell when they're that young. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Least favorite smell? Baby's poop. <laughs> mixed bag. When it's liquid, it's, it's sure. real. Mm. <laughs> Exercise. What about it? Worth it. Uh, yes. Okay. Very. Flat or sparkling? Flat. <laughs> oh, Most okay. used. Are we going to edit that out? Because that made me feel bad. What? That hurt my feelings. At what out? At what out? <laughs> Most used app on your phone? Spotify. I only just. Re I am 94 years old. I just recently figured out that they have radio channels that mix up your favorite artists. So you say Leon Bridges, and you can listen to all Leon Bridges. Do you know about Spotify? You, and then they say Leon Bridges Radio. Are you sponsored you by that. Spotify? Are you the, Spotify. Are you, the only way to listen to, no, I'm just. Mm -hmm. You get one song to listen to for the rest of your life. What is it? Mm. Maybe uh, The Curtain Falls by Bobby Darren. More? 
Well, I don't know. I don't know that one. I mean, Beyond the Sea is in the damn movie. Yeah, it is. And and that's Bobby Darren. Yes, on his last, I believe it was his last tour ever. One of the last things he sang live was this song called "As the Curtain Falls," and it's basically his goodbye song to show business, and it's beautiful. It will make you cry. So, when you go on Spotify, um, <clears throat> what number am I thinking of? Seven. No. Okay. Describe the rest of your life in five words. I hope I make it. John Krasinski, congratulations. Thank you very you much. You are known. Wow, thank you. It's so good it's to a see delight Wait, to we see have you to too. redo the hug. Oh, oh yeah, now from, we get from, to from do a it. year ago. Come on. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, oh very nice. Oh, this is so nice. Good to see you. A Quiet Place Part <laughs> 2 will be in theaters on May 28th. John Krasinski, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs>